before I begin the video, I also wanted to say that this also works on iOS and Android. I don't know why I brought that up, I just felt like it was worth mentioning. Anyways, let's begin the video. So the first tutorial is how to install the Poyo channel onto the Dolphin emulator. It's actually really, really easy, and you should know if you've already installed one, um, a WAD file. So all you'll need is the WAD file. I have that in the YouTube video description. You'll need the Dolphin emulator, and you'll need to load the system menu. And so... All you really need to do to install this is you need to go to config, paths. So if you are kind of organized, you should have some game folders to have where all of your GameCube, WiiWare, and Wii games. So um, there should be a file. Mine is called ROMs. So I can close that. And I have it on my desktop. You might have it stored somewhere else. But so we can open up this. And what you can do is you can drag it in. I already have the Poyo channel installed, so I can just say skip this file. But you probably don't have it already, so you're just going to copy and paste it into there. Now we can exit out of that. We can refresh. And then you'll see the Poyo channel. You want to right click it and then it'll say install to NAND or uninstall. You probably won't have the uninstall to NAND because you obviously don't have this yet. So you can just press install to NAND. And then you can go to tools, load Wii menu. By the way, the theme doesn't come installed with it. This is already my custom theme. I also will have that in the link in description, the video for how to install this. But as you can see, we have the Poyo channel. You might have to go back over there to find it. But and as you can see, it works good. The music is not edited in, and it starts just like the homebrew channel. And all of your homebrew applications should load if you have any. So that will be all for this dolphin tutorial. And this next tutorial will show you how to install it on your Wii or virtual Wii. Now before we install the WAD on an actual Wii or Wii U, I want to bring to your attention that you should try to get a NAND backup and or try it in Dolphin emulator first because there is a very small chance that this wad can brick your Wii. So just be prepared, follow the instructions as close as possible, and try not to be stupid. Anyways, enjoy. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, if you haven't already, take your Wii U SD card or USB drive and put it into your laptop or computer. This should open up, and you're going to need four things. You're going to need Homebrew. You're going to need the Poyo Channel WAD. You're going to need to go into your Homebrew applications for the Wii. And you need a WAD manager. It doesn't matter which one you have, as long as it can install a WAD. I use Wii Mod Lite for my virtual Wii. And then you're also going to need... A folder called wads. You can go from new into folder and then 
you can copy and paste the channel into there. But you're going to need those four things. You're going to need the Homebrew channel, the Poyo channel wad, you're going to need the application Weed Mod Lite or any other mod manager. And then you're going to need that folder called WADS. Once you have all three of those, or four of those, then you can eject the SD card and go on to your Wii or Wii U. Now, as you can see, we are now on our Wii menu or Wii U menu. I'm using a Wii U menu just to prove that both of them work. We can now go on our homebrew channel. And as you can see, we have our SD card in and we can go into our mod manager now. And here it is. We can go to WAD manager, press A, press A again, and you can see I have a lot of folders, so I may have to scroll down. And we can select A on WADs. And now we have the Poyo channel. We can click A on it. And we can now install the WAD. And now all we have to do is we pray that it works. So now we can press B. And then we can press the home button. And now we can exit this out to the system menu. So as you can see, we're back on our system menu. And here it is. and it works perfectly. We can go to start. And ta-da, it has everything you already have on the homebrew channel. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video because this took a while to make and test, but it finally works for all devices. So thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe if you want more content like this.